some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We find ourselves somewhere in a New York state where a sovereign citizen attempts and fails to use the script to get out of a traffic ticket. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing today? Trooper Kelly with the state police. Uh, I stopped you. You don't have a plate on the back of the car. Yeah, I. Uh, What's that? Yeah, I, I understand. I, I'm all right. Are you, you have a license registration or anything? Uh, no, I actually don't need that. I'm traveling. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Do you have an ID or anything? Uh, no, but I, I don't need to provide that. I'm, I haven't broken any traffic violations. I can't hear you. Mind, you mind stepping out? No, I'd rather not. But What's that? I would rather not, to be honest. But I can't hear anything you're saying. I'll speak up for you. I would rather not, to be honest. Okay. But what I was saying is I'm not driving. I'm traveling. So, therefore, I don't need a license. Yes, soft hard. I see that you're traveling, but when you're traveling on the public roadways inside of a motor vehicle, you've got to follow the laws, meaning you've got to have plates, registration, and licenses. And no amount of soft hard literature that you read will ever exempt you from that fact. A registration. You only need that when you're uh driving on the roadway uh transporting goods or people for money well in new york state you gotta have a registration you have to have a license well i understand that for new york state statues yep. and, and laws yep but that's admiralty law i'm okay. i don't fall in that i fall under common law i i'm my own jurisdiction Ooh, try again, lead paint drinker. You just can't declare yourself your own jurisdiction and think that'll work in any state of the union. And since you're in New York, New York state laws apply to your situation, if, especially if you are a citizen of New York state. So, so here's the statute pertaining to your particular situation. Read it and try to comprehend it, and maybe you'll come out of this okay. But you being a sovereign citizen, I doubt you will ever be okay as far as your intelligence goes. Okay. So, I you're right now you're enforcing admiralty law. Right now what? Right now you're you you're enforcing admiralty law, which is color of law. It's the color of law and statutes and regulations. Wow, you're just all over the place with these nonsensical sovereign citizen laws and whatnot. What you just talked about has to do with civil rights laws, not traffic laws. Okay, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Get your head out of your ass. Stop drinking the sovereign citizen Kool-Aid. Stop listening to the YouTube law experts. And maybe you'll be okay. But as I said before, I doubt it, considering you're so far down the rabbit hole already. It might not be possible for you to even see the light of day again. Okay. And uh, you're you all... Step out for me? No, I'm alright. Alright, right here, okay? No problem. Well, unfortunately for you, your method of traveling, mainly your uh, motor vehicle, has to be licensed, registered, and tagged. And if you think that this is going to hold up in court, you are sadly mistaken. Just for video evidence, if this goes to court, I am sovereign. I am traveling, not driving. Well, unfortunately for you, your method of traveling, mainly your uh, motor vehicle, has to be licensed, registered, and tagged. And if you think that this is going to hold up in court, you are sadly mistaken. Nor have I committed any crime. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. Let me break it down into simple terms for you. No license plate equals violation. Violation equals crime. Therefore, you have committed a crime, albeit a minor one, but still a crime nonetheless. 
Now, did you get that, or do I have to make it even simpler for you? Because I don't think I could break it down any more than that. It's because no person or property has been hurt or damaged. Hey, man, do you have a, uh, can I get your name? Like a name, date of birth, any of that? Uh, well, don't, I don't, I haven't committed any crime or violation, so I'd, I don't need to, so I'd rather not provide you that. violate the vehicle and traffic laws in New York State, um, and I need you to identify yourself as well. So well I have you detained. I have traffic stop. I haven't made any. I, I haven't you. committed any crimes. Violate no. the vehicle and traffic law. So no. you're not gonna give me your name. No. Date of birth? No person or property has been harmed, so I haven't committed a crime. Are you gonna give me your name, date of birth? I don't. I don't need to. I'd rather not. I'm All not right, trying to be. Car, yeah. It's an unlawful detainment. Okay, lame brain, just because you think it's unlawful doesn't mean it is because your law knowledge of the law is very much limited to sovereign citizen reading material, which isn't worth the paper it's written on anyway. But in all actuality, I think it can serve a purpose. It can be used as an emergency stock of toilet paper, just in case you don't want to use your good toilet paper. You know, just to save some money. How's it going? How's it going? Pretty right, good. If I roll down a little bit so I can talk to you. I'm alright. I'm just gonna keep it cracked so right. I can for my safety. Am I shining the vehicle off? I can't really hear you, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't blame you. It's a loud exhaust. Yeah. So, what can I help you with? What's that? What can I help you with? So uh, the reason that you're being stopped is obviously you don't have any license plates. You don't have a valid registration or yep. insurance. Having a lack of registration and insurance in the state of New York is a misdemeanor crime. Well, and when you commit a crime of a misdemeanor, you're required to give your information. So you well, have to identify yourself to this trooper. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you'd be taken into custody and take, transported for fingerprinting. Can I so, explain something to you? Yeah, sure. So I understand what you're saying uh -huh. and what you're enforcing yep. under, you know, the New York State traffic laws and stuff and you. admiralty law yep. and that would be applicable to someone who is driving but like i stated to the state trooper uh i'm not driving the definition of driving mm -hmm. in the legalese language which is used in the courtrooms and in black right. laws dictionary yep. the definition of driving is commuting on a public roadway making commerce well money okay. transporting goods or people. Black Claw's Dictionary, often cited, often misquoted, and often misused for these idiots. And unfortunately, the definition does not fit your narrative, especially what the definition of employed can be, such as somebody engaging in an activity or anything like that. Not just a job, but just engaging in. Okay. And well, under common law, which is the law of the Constitution and the rights that I'm born with as a human living flesh, I, I'm allowed to travel. But if I were making money, that would be considered driving. And under your state laws, I would have to have a license. And I, and I understand that argument. And so I'll just respond to that with, uh, with this. That's an argument that's made in a courtroom. Well, yeah, there's uh, I can a defense. OK, yeah. so what police officers deal with. Police officers deal with uh, probable cause. So if there's probable cause to believe a crime has been committed, but I'm, police officers must. Well, yeah, but I'm, but I'm telling you a crime hasn't been committed. Like, I'm right. telling you definitions, right. straight up facts. Um, nope. All you've been doing is regurgitating sovereign citizen garbage as if it's truth when it is actually a bunch of nonsense. And nonsense that you have fallen for hook, line, and sinker. Right. I could even tell you court cases that people and have gone that, to court and, and won. I totally, I totally but understand where you're coming from. It would be but an unlawful. To, but, but again, that's that's uh, that's an argument and a defense that takes place in a courtroom. That is so true. Yeah, cause, I can. Probable cause is enough evidence for the arrest, and then the defense part takes place in the courtroom. So no, that's, no, that's that would be an unlawful. Well, this is an unlawful detainment right now, but okay. it would be an unlawful arrest. Okay. Well. I would, I, I would, agree, I would disagree with you on that subject. That's this perfectly is a wrong. lawful traffic stop yeah, under it's, the laws of the state of New York. Well, and you can, I'm telling you that it's not though. But that I don't, defense. I don't fall under. Okay, 
the traffic laws and statutes so the, are in the, the no, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Belong to the, the people of the state of New York. Yeah, they belong the to the people. Of the state of New York. They appoint the, the state care, caretakers the to take care of, of them. The state of New York have passed laws related to the use of the roadways. And the yeah. two of those laws those are, are registration yeah. required. Those laws are under admiralty law. Jesus Christ. Okay. No, that's fine. Okay, so um, so because the the people of the state of New York have enacted those laws, making it a misdemeanor. Well, the people haven't said the senators yes, they did. Have. They elected the officials that passed those yeah. laws. So, we don't elect officials. It's, yes, we no, we don't. Officials no, we don't. We don't elect through, officials. Through Are you stupid or something? Votes and, and uh, the votes. They're no, no. There's sir. Sir, this is not going to go your way today. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. well, it's not about going my way or your way. So, it's about what's so lawful if, if and my rights. No, 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 no. It's about my rights, if sir. You don't participate with sir. The, with the process, we'll have to can, make can I get your? I see your badge number. Can yes, I get your first can. name, please? You can see my badge can I please get your first name? My, my name is, is Luke Crump, and I can give you my okay. business card. That's all right. I but. am a 22 year veteran of the police yeah, force, that's, and I can assure you that's that great. Oh me, oh my, your sovereign citizen script is falling apart because you're being presented with facts, not bullshit. You do not have a valid argument at this I point. I do. Your argument and your defense is for the courtroom. Okay. And Whether it's for the courtroom or not, you, you are not... You'll be taken into custody uh -huh. and you'll be fingerprinted to, so that we can obtain your identity. Okay. Whether it's something you say in a courtroom or not you are in no lawful way to detain me or arrest me yes no yes, you're not yes we are because on, okay listen on a public roadway that's funded by taxpayers dollars those taxpayers nope. have enacted through their legislature laws yeah. that govern the use of the roadways. can i ask you a question yes are are you conforming to your oath right now yes well you're not because yes, you am. when you sign to your oath you signed to the law of the land. No. Yes. No, the laws of the state of New York and the Constitution of the United States. Yes. And guess what? There's the Constitution no such thing of the United States. The laws of the land. Okay. The law of the land is common. No you the need land. to stop interrupting me. It's the very rude. Land it's very is rude. Not, is, is not a thing. Yeah. There is no common thing. law. Do you there's hear what I'm saying? Common law is from England. There's no, it's no not. Common law in the United yes, States. Yes, there is. No, there's not. There's the United States. <laughs> in courtrooms, there's there is admiralty. Constitution mm. and the laws of the state of New York. Sir, I get what you're saying, but you keep interrupting me, and I'm, I don't appreciate it. I'm, I'm listening to what you're trying well, to say. You keep but... interrupting me. I don't appreciate it. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, in a courtroom, there's two laws that are being we're not yes, in a courtroom. right? There's probable cause is the reason that we're going to no. stop your vehicle because you've committed two unclassified misdemeanors. I haven't though. New York. I haven't and though. If you refuse to identify yourself, then we have to take you into custody. Okay, so what happens if I identify myself? What's that? What would be what would happen if I identify myself then? You would probably just get off with some uh, traffic citations and not end up going to jail, but uh, I don't think you're smart enough to do that. So let's carry on. If you identify yourself, they'll issue you a couple of traffic Also, are your cameras recording? I don't see any yeah, flashing lights. Yeah, cameras are recording. Well, I heard uh, a radio saying to mute the audio. So, so, so if you identify yourself... I don't see a flashing red light. Okay, it's, it's right there, okay? Okay. You can see my, my data timer moving yeah. forward, okay? It's recording us. Okay, so if you do identify yourself, the trooper will issue you a, several tickets, and you'll be free to leave, and they'll, take, they'll have the car towed. Okay, if you refuse to identify yourself, then we have to take you into custody, take you to the station for fingerprinting so that we can identify who you are. That's unlawful. There has not been any... No, Dad, you're not with this. No, I'm not done talking to him. I'm trying to educate you, buddy. Oh my God. Well, now that's where the video ends right there, everybody. Uh, I don't know what happened to him after that, but his arguments were, uh, well, let's just say quite idiotic. He had no comprehension of the law or anything of that matter. 
Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.